right, in this video we're going to use the Park Tool CG-2.4 chain cleaner. It says chain and drive train cleaning kit. All right, it says environmentally friendly, biodegradable, but I'll also show you another label. It says cyclone chain scrubber, gear clean brush, chain bright cleaning fluid. Now let's talk about that cleaning fluid here. Well, of course, that's upside down. But it says cancer and reproductive harm. P65 warning from California. So don't drink the goop. Since it was made in the USA, I was hoping that the uh, container would say what's in it. So let's take a look at what is in the box. And this is a first time opening for me. So we have the biodegradable, environmentally friendly, will kill you cleaning fluid. And we have the apparatus, the chain cleaning apparatus. And we have some words, but I'm a guy, so I'm not allowed to read those. We have our brush. So it has bristles and spikes. And then there's a handle down here. All right. That's all that's in the box. Let's look at the goop, see what it says. Uh, we have a lot number. Let's see what it says here. All right, I see no ingredients on the bottle. It just has, we're so great, this works so wonderfully, and it can hurt you, and it'll irritate some people. So I think I'm gonna have to violate the man rule and read this and see if anything's in here. All right, if anyone from Park Tool is watching this, this is these instructions are so weird. I mean, I know what they're talking about, but it's crazy. Okay, this is a CG 2.4. I assume that's the kit that includes the chain cleaner, handle, brush, and goop. But then you look in the instructions and it says the CM 5.3 Cyclone Chain Scrubber, but there is no CM 5.3 to be found anywhere. And then the uh, GSC 1, that's the brush. I did mine, I did manage to find that. Uh, GSC 1 on the brush, so that's right. But nowhere is the tool labeled CM 5.3. Ah, wait a minute. Made a liar out of me. CM 5.3 chain scrubber. Okay. Uh, I did notice one other thing though. There's a magnet right here. That's pretty cool. So. I guess that just comes right out. Yeah, so there's a magnet, but it will not come in contact with the liquid, so you don't have to worry about, you know, like a magnet in a catch pan, like a transmission pan. If you've ever drained transmission fluid, they have a magnet stuck in there and all the crap is all around it. You know, it's completely covered in black. You can't take it all apart. So, um, there's a fill line. Alright, there are two locking clips. Alright, alright, let's go over the part. Okay, there are two clips. And, let's see, let me put this one back on. So, it comes off like that. Then this piece is called the cover on top. The wheel that's shown there is a roller brush. There's two of them. There are two roller brushes. They're identical. Same part number, so, you know, 
when you clean it or take it apart, there isn't any like top and bottom. They aren't different part numbers. All right, then they have a sponge here. They're calling this a side wall. Um, oops, excuse me. A wicking sponge. I'm sorry, this is a wicking sponge. All right, and this item right here is the side wall brush assembly. So it looks like an opposing set of brushes that are going to scrub the sidewall. already mentioned this previously. Mentioned the magnet. Then the handle can go on either side. How does that go on? Okay, you cannot put it in from the top. You must go in from the bottom. Like that. So I guess when you're putting upward pressure on it, it won't come out. Alright, this is called a base, and they also show you the fill line, how much goop you put in there, your preferred cleaner. So, the chain scrubber CM-5.3. Alright, your CB-4 is the Bio Chain Bright. Uh, there's no ingredients anywhere. I know I messed up with the uh, part number on this uh, chain scrubber here. I finally found that. But I definitely looked through all of the words, including the languages I could read, because there's German and, I don't know, maybe Spanish. I don't recognize it. So, uh, my Spanish isn't the greatest. But I usually recognize Spanish. Oh well. Anyway, it's in four different languages. So it says uh, fill it up to the line, uh, run it through, uh, run the chain through a couple of times, clean it up, empty it, fill it up again, do it twice. The environmentally friendly fluid that will uh, hurt you. <laughs> uh, is eight ounces and I'm not sure what the, how much the fill up line is going to be let me measure that okay we're at the fill line let's see how much that is survey says Two and a quarter, two and a half ounces. Here, let me level the camera here. And let's see if I had two and a quarter. How many, what else do I have here? Milliliters, what are we looking at here? Maybe 60 milliliters. Cups. Uh, just over a quarter cups. The containers in ounces, so if that's a little over two ounces, uh, that's four shots, technically a little bit less. So you have, uh, you can clean two chains uh, unless you just get in an infinite loop with the repeat steps one through four over and 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 over. <laughs> Okay, so if you have a bicycle or an e-bike with a rear hub drive, you want to orient it this way such that the rear is here and the front is here and this is the lower part of the chain. Now if you have a center drive e-bike, so with the center drive e-bike, whatever the heck that is because I don't know, uh, you flip it around this way and it shows a little indicator right here so I really don't know what a center drive e-bike is I just have a you know regular seven speed bicycle so that's that alright note that there are two holes right here that's important because what you do is you attach it to the bike and you 
lock it down now it's on the chain and yeah that's correct then you take your environmentally friendly cleaner that will hurt you if you drink it and you pour it in here up to the line then it says to uh, run the chain backwards you know freewheel uh, so that it goes through so the bottom chain just goes through and they say to turn uh, 30 revolutions so that would be a minimum then they say to uh, clean the device just empty out the liquid clean your sponge here squeeze it is all they say just squeeze it fill it up again for a second time do it again now if you run out of fluid the instructions actually say I'm not making this up you can read it for yourself uh, you can use water and a little bit of dish soap that's what it says all right they use the words dishwashing detergent you know because they're not you know lawyers wrote this I guess anyway so uh, you don't have to buy the fluid right out of there instruction sheet it tells you water and dish soap is fine so you can do that and also said it also said replacement parts are available and I'm sure over time that'll be necessary I really you know clearly I have two bikes but it's a new chain it's just a little bit dirty I'm gonna do a demo here in a minute I am not going to have a clue on how long these things are going to last. Not a clue. Alright, going to break the seal on this thing. See what's in here. I can get it. What color is that? Looks kind of like a tea brown. Oh, has a childproof cap. Let me get rid of that. So, what I like to do is remove the inner cap from the outer cap and defeat the childproof cap assembly. See if I can get that out of there. There we go. And there's how it works, in case you're wondering if you can even see that. Now we have just a regular cap. Nothing you have to push on and turn and all that crap. Alright, also, I have no kids around and no grandkids either, so. I just defeat those things all the time. All right, let's see what we got ourselves into here. Yeah, kind of looks like watered down tea. What's it smell like? Ah, eh, there's no real smell to it. All right. Well, might as well use it. We got it. All right, so I don't have a bike stand like, you know, one of those repair stands or something like the bike shop would have or whatever. Uh, but I do hang my bikes up out of the way in the garage. So I have a convenient way of doing work on the bike, the wheels, the chain, etc. So that is my setup. Let's get it together and clean that chain. All right, the brush. Um, since I goofed up on the part number for the cleaner, I actually read all the instructions. Please don't take away any man points. But the uh, this cleaner with the teeth on it is supposed to get in between the gears. Now, if you go backwards, it's, it's kind of against the grain there. Uh, the first couple times I tried it, you know, it caught it and kicked it out. Now the brush, uh, they show it cleaning the derailleur, not the wheels on the derailleur. They just show it cleaning the derailleur. Here, let me get it. 
camera, you know, and they just show all that, but they don't show it cleaning the wheels, even though that'd probably be a pretty good idea to do. I mean, these were really bad when I had to <laughs> clean them initially before I got the chain cleaner. All right, it doesn't say like put it in a certain gear or anything, I, you know, because it's kind of universal in that there's like a bazillion different speed bikes it can go on. So we'll just click it in place. A little testing before I put the fluid in there. I definitely say the handle is necessary. And we'll put our liquid in here. Fill it up to the line here. And now we just go for it. All right, well, the first problem I had is I took it off the teeth. <laughs> And I had to put the chain back on the teeth, so you want to be careful not to twist it, turn it, or otherwise mess up. Also, some of the brushes, the um, individual brushes came off. Here's one. Get it in front of the camera. So these guys are coming off. And they were getting stuck in the chain. No big deal. The cleaner cleaned them all. Here we go. Oh, here's one on the derailleur. Can you see this guy here? He's stuck. So, no big deal. But I tell you what, the chain is definitely getting clean. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I want you to do this 30 times. Oh, there's another piece that's kind of jammed in there. There's another one kind of jammed in there too. And I just came off the teeth, so let me redo that again. So I'm just having all kinds of fun here. So, let me just say, oh gosh, the fluid dropped down too. too. I saw some leaking out the back because I guess I had it tilted back some, but that seems like a long way to go. But anyway, this thing off. I definitely need to work on my technique. Don't forget, this is my first go at it. Now let me go around one time, see if I can find any. Yeah, there's a piece. There's another piece of brush. There's another piece of brush hair. Two stuck in the rollers. Another one, another one. All right, I think I got them all, but I will say this. That chain is clean. <laughs> there is no doubt about that. I mean, even though all of these brushes are coming off here, and they are going everywhere, um, the fluid definitely became black. And that was about, um, I would say 10K. New chain, 10K, and that's how much came off of it. And there was no lube on here. I just put the chain on right out of the package, right onto the bike. I didn't spray it with any 
any lubricant whatsoever. I didn't wax it. I didn't uh, put motorcycle uh, chain lube on there. I didn't put any oil on there, any bicycle chain lube, nothing. Just a chain right out of the box, 10K, and then here is the cleaner. So, pretty impressive. A little disappointed that the hairs keep flying out of these rollers here. But that could be me. I was twisting it all around and trying to film and do other crap. So, you know, it was probably a little bit my fault. And it was also, uh, I did notice it was catching in the roller. So if you're too close to a turn, I'm sure that the chain uh, bending will catch uh, one of these bristles. I finally remembered what they were called, bristles. <laughs> so anyway, and it says to empty it out, clean the sponge, uh, squeeze the sponge, they said and do it again. Okay, so did the magnet catch anything? I don't know. Caught some uh, bristles. <laughs> it, it does look dirty down there. I, I only dumped it out. I didn't rinse it out, so I don't know if the magnet's holding on to particle or that's just debris. So, let me uh, rinse this out. Alright, let's see if we can get that camera to focus in on that. Definitely metal filings in there. So, uh, and that's after I rinsed it out. There was other stuff in there, and the water washed it away. But these guys, I guess the magnet was strong enough to hold these guys in place. So, that is that. Okay, in conclusion, clearly uh, I'll get better and better as I use the product. Uh, if you watch other people on YouTube, it works perfectly every single time, and so they probably uh, didn't go through what I just went through, which was like <laughs> the learning process, making mistakes and trying to film at the same time, the same time as you first use it. So that's my video. I like it. I definitely like it. That chain is really nice and clean. I mean, it is. I'm not kidding. It almost looks better than new. Uh, it's, I remember when it was new, it was really shining. But maybe it's because it was dirty and I saw it dirty uh, that it uh, looks so much cleaner. But anyway, I'm definitely... Glad I bought it. I know because in the past cleaning chains, I really kind of struggled. You know, take them apart, put them in a jar, shake the jar, let it dry, all that other good stuff. This is definitely a good uh, maintenance procedure. I mean, I would still say you'd have to uh, pull the chain and clean it more thoroughly, especially if you wax it or put other lubricants on there. Uh, I think most of the pros wax their chains as opposed to an oily uh, type of uh, chain lubricant. But anyway, uh, that's uh, the Park Tool Chain Cleaner. And that is my first time use. I'm impressed with it. It's nice. I think it's expensive. There are cheaper ones on the market. But I have come to like Park Tool. I found that the quality is just too good to like try and save five bucks or something and, and go with another brand. Uh, there's one out there called like the pig or something and uh, I think it has one less brush I don't know if it has a wipe on it but uh, anyway people like that uh, so anyway uh, like I said uh, I went with park tool and I think it's working appreciate your time thank you for watching